First up is something that feels like it was stolen from a James Bond movie set, the Copter Pack Gen 2. This isn't your typical jetpack, it's a personal electric backpack helicopter. Its frame is made of lightweight carbon fiber and it has a self-leveling autopilot, which makes it shockingly stable. The Gen 2 uses a ducted fan system, meaning the rotors are enclosed, which makes it safer and more efficient than older designs. With its latest upgrades, including LED lighting and a digital flight instrument, wearing the Copter Pack is like strapping on your own mini helicopter. It gives you the power to lift off from anywhere and just hang in the air, turning any open field into your private runway. Some people build flying machines, but this next guy decided to become one. Meet Eves Rossi, better known as Jetman. Rossi, a Swiss pilot, engineered a revolutionary carbon fiber wing that he straps to his back. This isn't some floppy suit, it's a rigid 8-foot wingspan, powered by four small but incredibly powerful jet engines. After getting a lift from a helicopter or a plane, Jetman ignites the engines and takes complete control, blasting through the sky at over 180 miles per hour. The craziest part? He steers just by moving his body, creating a sense of flight so pure it's been called bird-like. This man has flown in formation with a B-17 bomber and even crossed the English Channel. The Jetman project is proof that with enough guts and genius, a person can actually fly. If Jetman is about soaring like a bird, then the Gravity Industries jet suit is all about becoming Iron Man. Invented by British visionary Richard Browning, this unbelievable suit uses five mini jet engines, two on each arm and one on the back, to kick out over 1,000 horsepower. That raw power can launch a person vertically into the air and send them flying at over 85 miles per hour. Pilots control everything just by pointing their arms, making it one of the most intuitive flight systems ever. It feels less like you're flying a machine and more like the machine is a part of you. The gravity jet suit is already being tested by military and paramedic groups for getting to people in hard-to-reach places fast. What if you could literally surf the sky? That's the idea behind the Flyboard Air, a creation from French inventor Frankie Zapata. This is a real-deal jet-powered hoverboard. The rider stands on the platform as it rockets through the air, powered by five small jet engines. It has enough thrust to climb to a mind-boggling altitude of 10,000 feet and hit a top speed of over 90 miles per hour. The pilot uses a handheld throttle for power and steers by shifting their body weight, just like on a snowboard. The Flyboard Air even holds the Guinness World Record for the farthest hoverboard flight, proving just how incredible it is. Flying this thing is a raw, intense experience, like standing on a magic carpet with a fighter jet engine strapped to it. Straight out of Japan, the AER Winds Technologies X Turismo looks like it flew right off a Star Wars movie set. This isn't just a drone with a place to stand, it's a true flying motorcycle. Its aggressive, sleek design is built on a hybrid gas and electric powertrain that spins its massive lift rotors. The X Turismo is made for vertical takeoff and landing, and then cruising over the ground with impressive stability. A limited edition is already on sale in Japan, and the company plans to launch a smaller, all-electric version in the US riding the X Turismo must feel like gliding on a futuristic speeder bike, giving you an amazing view as you fly over traffic and terrain below. While some flying machines are all about the thrill, the Hoverbike S3 by Hoversurf is built for business. This electric vehicle looks like a cross between a motorcycle and a giant quadcopter. Its carbon fiber frame is super light but also incredibly strong, and its four propellers can carry a pilot up to 60 miles per hour, though it's limited to 16 feet of altitude for safety. The S3 can be flown by a pilot or remotely as a drone. In fact, it's so practical that the Dubai police have already been testing it as a first responder vehicle to get to emergencies before anyone else can. If the Hoverbike S3 is the sensible work vehicle, the Volanaut Airbike is its wild, adrenaline junkie cousin. This jet-powered flying motorcycle was built for one thing, pure, face-melting speed. Its open cockpit and feather-light carbon frame are all about performance letting it rip through the air at speeds hitting nearly 125 miles per hour. To keep it from being completely uncontrollable, the airbike has a smart flight computer that handles all the stabilization, so the rider can just focus on the insane thrill of the flight. This thing is definitely not for the faint of heart. It's a high-speed machine that's more like racing than commuting. The Jetson 1 wants to make personal flight a reality for everyone. This single-seat electric aircraft is designed to be ridiculously easy and intuitive to fly. It uses eight powerful electric electric motors to take off and land vertically. Its design is built around a strong aluminum frame and a carbon fiber body, creating a race car-inspired safety cell for the pilot. The Jetson 1 tops out at 63 miles per hour and has cool safety features like a ballistic parachute 
and the ability to keep flying even if a motor fails. But here's the game changer. In the United States, it's classified as an ultralight aircraft, so you don't even need a pilot's license to fly it. This is basically your own personal flying car, ready for you to go exploring. Lift Aircraft's Hexa pushes the idea of flight for everyone even further. This electric VTOL is so simple that almost anyone can learn to fly it with very little training. What stands out immediately are its 18 independent rotors, which provide a massive amount of safety through redundancy. You control the whole thing with just a single joystick and an iPad for a display. The Hexa is made of carbon fiber and can even land on water, thanks to its four large floats. Lyft isn't even selling the Hexa. Instead, they're opening urban locations where you can just pay to fly one for fun. It offers a smooth, controlled, and stable flight, making it feel like you're floating in a glass bubble with a perfect panoramic view. For anyone who loves the classic romance of aviation, check out the SW-51 Mustang. This isn't some futuristic pod, it's a breathtaking 70% scale replica of the legendary P-51 Mustang, one of the most famous fighter planes from World War II. But don't let the old school cool fool you. The SW-51 is constructed with modern materials including a full carbon fiber body, making it incredibly light and strong. It has all the soul and swagger of the original Warbird, but is packed with modern tech and safety features. Flying the SW SW-51 is about connecting with the golden age of flight, the roar of the engine, the feel of the controls, and the unmatched thrill of flying a true piece of living history. Why should you have to choose between driving and flying? The Pegasus E says you don't have to. This is a true hybrid flying car that you can drive on the road and then take off vertically from just about anywhere. It's even compact enough to squeeze into a normal parking spot. On the ground, it's an electric vehicle for quiet and efficient driving. When you want to fly, a gasoline engine kicks in to power the ducted fans for takeoff. This slick transition from ground to air makes it one of the most versatile personal aircraft out there. The Pegasus E is designed for the real world, letting you drive out of your garage, take off from your driveway, and fly over all the traffic below. Frankie Zapata, the same genius behind the Flyboard Air, is also the creator of the Jet Racer. This is a single-person VTOL built for pure speed and agility. This flying chassis is powered by 10 micro-turbojet engines that provide an insane amount of thrust and stability. The design is stripped down and minimalist, focusing entirely on performance and the pilot's experience. Its advanced flight controller can keep it stable even if some engines cut out, making it surprisingly safe for such a powerful machine. The Jet Racer is designed to be easy to control Control, bridging the gap between just having fun and the future of air travel. Flying it must feel like being strapped into a sci-fi pod as 10 jets blast you straight into the sky. When it comes to portability, nothing beats the Skysurfer aircraft. This ultralight electric VTOL is designed to be one of the most convenient flying machines on the planet. Its killer feature? It can be folded down to fit inside standard airline luggage. Let that sink in. You can take your own personal aircraft with you on a commercial flight, then assemble it at your destination and take off. The Skysurfer is built with safety and redundancy as its top priorities, offering tight, precise control for a confident flight. It's all about freedom, the ability to have a personal aircraft ready to go wherever you are in the world. And finally, we have a machine that has perfected a classic and incredibly reliable way to fly. The Autogyro Calidus is a two-seat gyroplane that uses an unpowered top rotor for lift like a maple seed falling and a rear propeller for thrust. This design makes it exceptionally safe and stable. With its fully enclosed cockpit, it offers a comfortable ride for both the pilot and a passenger, making it perfect for sightseeing or even long cross-country trips. It's known for being sporty, reliable, and having a great range. Flying the Calidus feels like a mix between a nimble helicopter and a smooth-flying airplane, making it an awesome and versatile machine for any kind of adventure. If your mind is as blown as ours, do us a favor and hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into the future of tech. And let us know in the comments which of these flying machines you'd want to find in your garage. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.